Bundy. Best yeah. Do you know who this is? Al Bundy. Nah, Let's go to Taj. Get in, man. Get in, buddy. I never heard of Al Bundy. Give him a hug. Yeah, yeah let me hug you, Touch on me, brother. Oh, that was sad. All right. Man. Sound a little funny. Nah, man, you forgot what you said earlier. I said something. Oh. I need to get out of my way. It's me. Boy, the pawpaw just real good. Just hit his shit. Oh, his dick. You know when you see somebody else say that? Yeah, he did. What are you doing? I said, I'm gonna keep it a honey, bro. <laughs> I don't like that. You ever see somebody just, like they shit go in and you be like, ah, I can feel that? It was one of those when my stomach cried. I said, yeah. ah, yeah. it's deep. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. My bad, guys. I was going on get lemon on here. Sorry for the kids. Uh, Alan Bundy's best insults. The show is called Married with Children, I guess. Oh, oh word. Yeah. I have it. It's an old, uh, it's not a sitcom. Yeah, a sitcom. It's a sitcom. I don't know about it. What is Sitcom, what does that mean? Sit down comedy. Sit down comedy. I don't think that's what it means. <laughs> I think that might be Situational a, comedy? I think that Brandon might be right on that. That's a wow, good assumption. Shut out. Let's Google it. I hope Bundy's best insults. Never heard of the guy. Let's look up the guy too, man. So we can figure out who he is. See if the guy Sitcom is a situational comedy. This dude Brandon's the freaking dictionary. No! Whoa! Yeah, he's a fictional in, he's a fictional character. Whoa! Man, don't be he's trying to read, man. Come on. Al Bundy, is he still alive? Oh, uh, is he still alive? He's definitely dead. What? I don't think the guy's dead. Tom Jones is alive. Who the hell is that? The guy with yeah, yeah, the yeah, guy's still alive. How dare you forget him? How dare you? Oh, that was the guy with the black and white body on the ventilator. So is he really, <laughs> is he really alive? Yeah, he was. Wow. See, is he just breathing or is he alive? He might be just breathing. Man. Oh, he's on my live. Well, honey. That's quiet. If yeah, we have anybody alive. that. Let's get into this. Yeah, is, this that a hundred, is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. Yeah, let's tap oh, in. Is that a real name, Al Bundy's? Oh, uh, yeah, this is real. Yeah, this is real guy. That's his real name. This is his real name. Love and oh, marriage. Sorry, this is Love now. and marriage. Go together like a horse and carriage. Excuse Ed me. Ed but am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please. Before the call costs more than the car. Hey, that was good. Oh, what the hell? That was Excuse good. me, but am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. Come on, please. Before, the car costs more than the car. <laughs> yes, and it costs more than the condom I should have used the night you were consuming. <laughs> You've already got one. <laughs> Ooh, so I don't want to Honey, why don't you just stay home and bowl me over? That's why. Should have convinced me with that one. Peg, I, I prefer a place where my balls are returned promptly. <laughs> what is this show? Well, mercy, congratulations. I didn't know you were expecting. <laughs> that jumping must have expanded right. my foot. <laughs> but I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. <laughs> Well, I'd say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. That's very touching, honey. Now rub my feet. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't rub your feet if a genie popped out of it. <laughs> Misunderstood your cries of pluck me to the butcher? <laughs> Little girl, I wanted to be a ballerina. Ballerina? <laughs> you sure are my nutcracker. <laughs> I have just about had enough of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. Damn. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> she keep coming back? Damn! What does it say Alan? Alan? Oh, he, he probably work with her. Besides, between small and you. Small Why you. must you always be so negative? Why did you cross the road? <laughs> Natural born yeah. salesman. Excuse me. Hey! Do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? <laughs> Good. Good. Now you can put that metal plate back in your head. <laughs> It's a lot like putting a lid on an empty jar. I'm sorry. This is like the original office. He's, well, he's working, bro. He has a job. He's roasting somebody at the job. No, but the office never shot a man home like this. There's a lot of shows where they work. Yeah, and but it made me think about it because the black guy they popped up. Bro, look good back, bro. The 
black guy, bro. Go back. Okay, bro. We saw him. We saw him. He was just standing there. Though. He didn't say <laughs> bro, and you can tell that, like, you so, know what I'm saying? You can so you drew the comparison because the, the office had a black character. No, and he, he reminds of Michael Scott. He sounds like he's really probably funnier than Michael Scott from what I'm saying right now. No, that's, 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 that's. You said Michael Scott. Yes. Uh, that's a crazy His comparison. insults might be What? His insults are better. No, Michael Scott is funny, bro, but yeah. this guy is doing something. Yeah, like it's, been been fucking, it's been a minute and you drew that crazy. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I bet Michael Scott. This guy goes, has made me have. He don't want no rope battle. Look, 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 look. Michael I, Scott made me laugh, but I, these are genuine, genuine laughs. I bet, I bet, you know, I bet this, this view is gonna touch Michael Scott's video. Yeah, keep it 100. Bro, because Michael. You're right, you're right, you're right. Let's you're get right. back into you're this. You're right, you're right, you're right. He just looks like Daryl to me right there. He's just big and black. Excuse me. Hey, do I come to the Egg shop bother you when you're working. <laughs> Good. Now you can put that metal plate back in your head. <laughs> Although that's a lot like putting a lid on an empty jar. Oh. <laughs> or a bra on you. <laughs> I knew he was gonna come back for something. Who would you rather spend the night with? A your wife or B? B. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fall through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hold on now. Hey, hold on now. Front, be a little drummer boy. Hold on now, man. Now hold on, man. If I came with fries and meat, so 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 compare him to Michael Scott. is still crazy right now. Michael Scott's funnier. His insults are better. Fat people jokes are fucking funny. Always. Insults are better. All right, all right, all right. Fat people jokes are funny. One, two, three, four. Y'all want to talk to me? Bro, keep your top, your jaw off the top of the camera. Hey, how dare you say that? Hey, the writers, the writers of this show different. Yeah, they are good. Back in one one. They clearly did not like fat people. For a decorating contest. What are you gonna stand out front and be the little drummer boy? <laughs> you think you're going? Aren't you open? Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. <laughs> <laughs> so just a second here. Now, why don't you just buck, 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 buck out of here? <laughs> shade of blue. I'll tell you what I'll do then. We'll stand you in front of a mirror. I'll begin strangling you. <laughs> When you reach the shade of blue, then satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. That's it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? No! Hey, he is them. Did you miss me? With every bullet so far. Uh, wow, nice wheels. But you have to realize... Stealing cars is a felony. So let's pretend to be that kid on home improvement. <laughs> With this attitude, you're going to be working here for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, take a gander into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. <laughs> Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. Not just for trying to moon your way less. Oh, Mercy, how can you be so unfeeling? Go back, what did he say? Didn't you ever get up in the morning and suddenly realize that you know my respect? I try to moon your way less. Mercy, how can you be so unfeeling? Didn't you ever get up in the morning and suddenly realize that something very, very important was gone? Well, sure you do. You must every morning when you open up your pajama top. <laughs> Well, let me explain. See, it's it's just like an elevator. There's a two-ton weight limit on this shit. <laughs> what say I nail the soles directly to your feet? It'll give you more traction when you're pulling the ice wagon. Oh, man. You'll be hearing from my attorney. But is that the law offices of Hog and the Dog? <laughs> You will be hearing from my attorney. But is that the law offices of Hagen and Doc? Hagen does his ice cream. <laughs> you decided to take the Miller boy camping. <laughs> <laughs> Bundy, I had steak tonight. What do you have? If I was the mailman, I'd be having your wife. Damn. I Damn. smell foul. <laughs> you certainly do. Son, I'm trying to get an all over tan. You're asking a lot of the sun. Excuse me, 
Do you have any pumps in my size? Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow oh, me to sell them. Damn! Well, I hope you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. And I hope you get slim fast in your... Damn! He is destroying them. So would you mind eggnogging on out? <laughs> to help you out, I made a top ten list of things to make you more attractive for your... For your sex symbol husband. Uh-oh. Number 10. Wear traditional Islamic garb covering all but the eyes. <laughs> Number 9. Feather removing electrolysis. <laughs> Number 8. Ski mask. <laughs> Number 7. Sew up holes in ski masks. <laughs> Number six, hire attractive woman to stand in front of you at all times. <laughs> Number five, beak job. beak job. Number four, put paper bag over ski mask. <laughs> Number three, shave head, tattoo Cindy Crawford's face on back of head. <laughs> Learn to walk. <laughs> Number two, women. poke out eyes of every man on earth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Number one, get present to make every day Halloween. <laughs> oh man. He's <laughs> killing I like him. Ah, oh, Peg. Would it really make you feel better if I told you I needed you? Yes, it would. I <laughs> 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 Like no, I don't. <laughs> hey, bro, that was like that was like 50% fat people jokes. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna keep it 100. His jokes while I'm mean, touching Martin's insults. Hey, he, he was wrong. His insults is touching Martin's. For sure. I ain't say he funny. Insults? He was saying Martin's? Martin's hey, insults? You know you messed me up when you said it's kind of like Martin. No. Nah, I see what you said. It says like him picking on a girl. Me. It was like him, yeah, yeah, the yeah, like, Jean, Pam, Pam and what you call it. I ain't gonna lie. Insults, Martin was frying Pam. Every time Pam different. came in there. Yeah, he was. The office was strictly That was funny. I'm not gonna lie. It was different. It wasn't really. It was good. sometimes outside. That was good, though. I like that. That was a good show. No, that was amazing, bro. Yeah, he was he was a savage. What was this? What does it say right there? 1995? Yep. Yeah, back in the 90s. I kind of want to watch that.